Um, obviously, if you're trained in historical European martial arts, then you know, you've probably already got a sword. You might be familiar with the pose. You know, you can use something else. If you don't want to do that, that's absolutely fine. You can just keep the hands active. So I'll give you an example. So say if you're coming into like a post, a longer pose, if you don't have a sword, just use the hands. Keep the hands active. So energy through the fingers. It's just as good. Um, whatever you're doing, be safe. So even if you're trained in the sword, make sure you don't, you know, if you're going to lose your balance or it's going to drop or stab you in the face or something, then maybe just leave it to one side. So just be always exercise safety um, at all times listen to your body so if at any time you're feeling any pain then just come out of a pose so don't force it so we're going to lose the ego here it's not about reaching the head somewhere or just letting more people in so just think of your body so let's just check what time we're at okay we've just gone past one so i'm going to make a start if you can i'm going to mute everybody Brilliant. So we've got quite a nice big class today. Fantastic. I'm just going to bring myself. Oops, I'm not very good at this. All right, here we go. So, yeah, and we're going to focus on the glutes and on the breath as well. So, we're going to start by coming onto the mat. So, have your back to the mat. We're going to bring the soles of the feet together and the knees out wide. If that's a little bit uncomfortable, then just press the feet into the mat, knees up towards the sky. Slowly bring the hands over the belly, closing down the eyes, and we're gonna come into the breath for a few moments. Now the first few, I want you to breathe in through the nose and just sigh it out through the mouth. So just let it go. Just releasing any tension, just bringing yourself into the moment. So let's breathe in for four, three, two, one, and breathe out for one, two, three, four. Breathing all the way in, all the way out. I'll just keep one eye on the phone in case anybody else joins. So as you breathe in, just feel that belly rise as the rib cage expands. Breathe out as it draws back down. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. Just feel that belly pressing into the hands. We're going to slowly take the awareness to the back and the sides of the ribs. You can move the hands there if that's comfortable. And again, as you breathe in, just bring your awareness to the ribs. Just notice the back of the ribs as well as they open on the inhale. Maybe take that breath up to five or six. And just notice that natural shape of the back. So notice that lift in the lumbar spine. See if you get that breath all the way round there. As we breathe in, we're filling up the lungs, pushing that diaphragm down towards the stomach. 
pause in that belly to rise. And exhale, we're drawing it back in. Let's move the awareness to the chest and the shoulders. And again, take the hands if you want to. As you inhale, feel that lift as the heart opens. Exhale, let's draw it back. Just keep going. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale. Just try to bring yourself into the moment. Just notice how the body feels. Are you feeling any pains, any aches? Just be kind to yourself. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhaling all the way out. I want you to now take your awareness away from the body. You can almost picture yourself looking down. And as you breathe in, see if you can cultivate a sense of lifting and breathing through the whole body and breathing out through the whole body. Just see if you can hold on to that throughout the practice. Anytime your mind wanders, don't worry. Just draw it back as many times as you need. We're just trying to slow down the mind, so don't pressure yourself. Let's take a nice big inhale. Exhale. And on the next inhale, let's draw the knees in together. Bring each knee into the chest. And just give yourself a nice little hug and a gentle rock from side to side. I'm going to come to stillness and inhale as you lift the forehead towards the knees. So start engaging the arms a little bit here. Exhale to lower. Let's take the arms up too, nice and active. Exhale to lower. Take two more. Nice. And we're going to bring the legs straight up. So press the feet towards the ceiling. We're going to flex the toes towards the face. You can bring the hands up and mirror it as well. We're going to point and flex. Take a few in your own time. Just rotate the ankles and the wrists in both directions. Just opening up the hamstrings here. And slowly start opening the legs out wide, working into the groin and the thigh muscles. Just breathe in, breathe out. Take a little rock on the pelvis and the sacrum if that's available. Just enjoy that nice juicy stretch. Slowly bring the legs back together, and we're going to gently bring the knees into the chest for another little hug. <laughs> we're going to do a few abs exercises. Abs are really important if you've got lower back issues. They really help you with the posture, so sort of keep you nice and strong and stable up top. Also good for your stomach and your digestive organs. If you have a block or something like a cushion, even you can bring that between the legs. You don't have to do it if you don't have it. This will just encourage you to keep the thigh muscles engaged. And we're going to take our leg raises. So bring the arms to the side, take a nice deep inhale, and as you exhale, slowly start lowering the legs, just to a hover point. Engage the abs, you can press them if you want, and lift. Lower on the exhale, inhale to lift. You can take a few to the side, so working into the side abs, the obliques. Always breathing. Now 
And I want you to do these poses with honesty. So really try to engage the abs here. You don't have to go too far down. And just take three more in your own breath. And when you're ready, just release that block safely and just hug the knees in again for a few moments. We're going to slowly bring the feet to the mat. Just check you can brush the heels with the fingertips, arms by the side. We're going to inhale as we lift the hips up. So working into the quads now for a few moments. Breathe in, breathe out. And start engaging those inner thigh muscles to keep the knees a little bit together. Take one more inhale and exhale, slowly release. You're going to do a little bit more in the abs now. So keep your feet pressed on the mat for now. And just notice that natural lift in the lumbar spine. So just take a hand, maybe you can see it goes right underneath. It might be different for people. We're going to tilt the pelvis towards the belly. So like a bowl. Feel that back pressing into the mat. So this might be where you want to stay, that's absolutely fine. If you want to work into the app, we're going to lift off the legs and lift off the chest. You can take your variation. You can swing the legs out, you can take the arms behind you, whatever you want. See if you can keep that back press and cage the abs for five, four, three, two, one. And release, hug it in. Bring the feet back to the mat. We're gonna do that two more times. So take a nice deep inhale, exhale. We're gonna tilt that pelvis again, so check yourself. We wanna try and keep that press during this exercise. We're gonna inhale to lift off. You can use the block. Do something else, it's entirely up to you. And let's stay here for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Ooh, hug it in. Let's bring the feet back to the mat. We're going to do that one last time. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale. Let's tilt that pelvis one more time. Inhale, lift off. You can work the obliques by going to the right, to the left. So take your version. Listen to your body. Let's hold it here for five, four, Three, two, one, and release. Hug it in. I'm going to bring the feet to the mat. Let's take the arms to the side. Take a nice big inhale as we lift the hips, coming into our bridge pose. Let's just hold it here. Don't forget to breathe. And exhale to release. Bring the arms out wide. And as you inhale, just lift the hips slightly. Exhale as you twist the knees over to the left. This is a nice stretch into that right side body. 
And just take the neck wherever it's comfortable. And when you're ready, we're going to slowly inhale, come back to centre. Just take a moment, see how your body's feeling. I'm going to bring the arms out. Inhale, lift the hips, exhale, rotate it to the right this time. Try and visualise that left shoulder blade roaring towards the mat. There's a nice stretch from that left side body. Just be aware, your body might be different on one side. So you might be looser or tighter. And when you're ready, slowly inhale, come back to centre. You're going to bring the knees in and just give yourself a nice little hug. Take a nice big stretch, so bring the feet, point the toes, stretch the fingers, and in your own time, just roll over onto your belly and bring yourself back onto the mat. So we're gonna do a quick counter pose to all those abs, hands nice and flat underneath the shoulders, press the tops of the feet into the mat, and we're gonna inhale as we lift up into our up dog. So it's a nice stretch for the belly. If that's too much, come onto the forearms. That's your call. Just take your time, breathe in, breathe out. So if there's any pinching in the lower back, just lower your upper body a little bit. When you're ready, we're going to tuck the toes under, lift the bum up, and we're going to come into our all fours position. So I'm trying to describe it in a bit more detail because we're online, but obviously you can see what I'm doing. So have the hands spread out nice and wide, knees below the shoulders, wrists below, uh, knees below the hips even, wrists below the shoulders. And we're going to take our cat-cow breaths. So when you inhale, we're going to tilt that pelvis away from the belly, so we're arching the back. Drawing up the shoulder blades together, take the gaze up. As you exhale, we're going to reverse that motion, draw the pelvis into the belly, round the shoulder blades, take the gaze down. So you can take a look at me for the first one if you need a little guidance. But just imagine someone's walking their fingers up and down the spine. It should feel quite nice. Not rushing it. Just be mindful of any hinge points. Sometimes we tend to hinge at the base of the spine. So just create that fluidity. Let's see how everyone's doing. And feel free to take a little sideways one as well if you want anything you need. So you can make it a little bit more creative. If there's any pain, please take it easy. Ease out of it. So let's take a couple more and come back to our neutral spine. That's great. I'm going to do a little bit on the glutes now. So I want you to take that right arm out parallel with the mat. So reach the fingers forward 
I want you to bring that left leg up. Try to line up the hips and engage the core here as well. And then we're going to bend that left knee, press the foot towards the ceiling. And we're going to lift and pulse that left foot up and down. So you should feel that left glute engaging. So let's keep it for five, four, three, two, one, and release. And let's take it straight to the other side. So bring that left arm out, reach the fingers forward, right knee comes off, press the foot up against the ceiling, and let's pulse it here. For five, four, three, two, one, and release. I'm going to do a few more exercises. We're going to bring that right arm out again. Lift that leg straight this time. Left leg straight. Press the foot away from you. I'm going to take some circles with that left leg now. So take a few in one direction first. We're engaging that left glute. And let's take a few in the other direction. And hold and release. And let's take that left arm out again this time. Right leg comes straight and take your circles. Let's take something in the opposite direction. And then we're going to hold and release. We're going to sit back on the heels. You can keep the toes tucked in if you want. It's quite nice for the feet. Untuck them if it hurts. And we're just going to take a few wrist exercises. So just rotate the wrists in both directions. Open and close the hands. It should feel quite nice on the forearms as well. Then we're going to inhale. We lift the arms up. Shoot the fingers up. Take the head up. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Nice. Take a few shoulder rolls, nice and big, in both directions. I'm going to bring the hands onto the hips and lift the bum up so you've got the hips over the knees. And we're going to bring that right leg forward so we're bending into that right knee. Take the left hand and place it down on the mat. We're going to bring the right hand and we're going to use it to stabilise that left shoulder. We're going to come into a little twist now. So some of you have done this before. And then we're going to take the gaze towards the right. So start opening up that heart and the chest. And you can lift that right arm up, coming into a nice side twist. But try to keep that left shoulder nice and strong. You can lift the left knee if it's available. As you're breathing, open the heart, moving the ribs towards the right side body. Big breath. Take one more inhale. Exhale, two, release. We're going to inhale as we shoot the arms up towards the sky. So a nice big stretch. And as you exhale, we're going to bring that right knee back. Hands to the waist. Take that left knee out this time. To bring the right hand to the mat. Take the left hand, stabilize that right shoulder blade. So take your time. And inhale, we lift up, twisting to the left. Option to lift the back knee. It's quite a strong pose. So please keep that back knee down if you need to. It's absolutely fine. Take one more inhale. And exhale to really slowly bring that knee down. If it's lifted, inhale as we shoot the hands up. Nice big stretch. And we're going to slowly bring that left knee back. Right, we're going to take a sip of water if you want. I need it. We've got about 20 minutes or so left. And we might go a couple of minutes over, I suppose, just to, because I do explain more in the online class. We're going to do our sword yoga sequence now. So what I want you to do is keep the sword nearby, bring the hands to the waist. I'm going to bring that right foot out again. And we're just going to work into that back hip flexor. 
I'm working into that right leg. So bring the sword up if you've got it available, and we're going to hold it straight out. So this is pocket the longer for those of you who are trained in swords and stuff. So hold it nice and strong. Without the sword, just do that. It's just as helpful, just as good for your upper body. Keep that length in the torso. And as you exhale, we're going to bring the bum back towards that left heel, and we're going to bring the sword into a bicornio. Bi so bring the elbows in. I'm going to flex that right foot. So working into that right hamstring nice and strong. If you want to take it deeper, you can try and lift that right foot off the mat. You can take a hand to help. Up to you. And we're slowly going to lift the bum back up, coming back into our posture longer. Keep it nice and strong. And exhale as you come back, bum to heel. Come into your frontale. So we're holding this all in a slightly different way, keeping across the eye level. And as you inhale, we're going to come back into frost longer. And this time, we're going to start moving to the inside of that right leg. And we're going to come into a little side lunge. So we're bending into that right knee, lift the left toes off, keep the left heel down. We're coming into finesse for us and keeping the sword at eye level, elbows nice and strong. And remember, without the sword, you just keep the arms up. It's really, really good still. And we're going to inhale, we lift the bum up and come all the way to the other side, bending to the left knee this time, coming into finesse for if you've got a sword, taking the sword behind you. And let's lift up, come back to the right. We're just working through some side lunges. This is good for the glutes. Lift the bum, come back to the left. Don't worry if you fall. Don't worry if you wobble. And as you exhale, we're going to just slowly release the sword to the mat. And we're going to frame that front foot. We're going to be bending into that left knee this time. And just come up into the same position that we started. Take hold of the sword, and we're going to come into posture along on the other side. A nice, strong arms. And as you exhale, take the bum to the heels, come into your bicornio. Remember, you can adapt this to your practice area. Option to lift that left foot off the mat if it's available. And have a little go. We're going to inhale to come back into posture longer. Lift the bum up. And we're going to come back, bum to the heel, come into frontale. Let's lift back into posture longer. So we need to come towards the end of this sequence. And on the next inhale, I want you to lift that back knee off, coming all the way up, bending into that left knee still. With the sword, bring it behind you into coda longer. I'm going to keep that bend in that front knee, nice and strong. And as you exhale, we're going to come up, bend into the right knee, bring the sword up. So come into like a warrior two pose. So please feel free to look at the screen. You want to check what I'm doing. Then take the left arm behind the waist, and then we're going to shoot the sword behind us. So we're going to bring that stretch into the right side body. Keep the bend in the right knee this time. And as you inhale, we're going to come all the way up. I'm going to keep hold of the sword if you want, or you can let it go. I'm going to let it go. And we're just going to pulse here, bending into both knees. We're going to come to pose. We're working the glutes for five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Should feel it. We're going to slowly bring the hands to the waist and just straighten the legs. And just take a look at your feet. And I want you to heel toe the feet together. Heel toe, heel toe. And bring yourself to the top of the mat. And we're going to bring the hands to the waist. Keep the knees a little bit bent as you come all the way down into a forward fold. So just relax the back here. It should feel nice. Breathe in. 
breathe out. And just take a few little swings from side to side. Shake the head, nod the head. Please keep the bed in the knees if you need to. And just come to a still place. Take the hands wherever they meet. So it could be the big toes, the knees, the thighs. And as you inhale, we're just going to lift the chest, straighten the arms. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. Let's take two more. Feel that breath all the way in the back. And when you're ready, I want you to slowly come all the way up. So bend the knees if you need to here. Take it easy. Come onto the tiptoes. Take the arms all the way up to the sky. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And release. Bring it down. And just shake everything out. Hopefully everyone's feeling quite good, a bit more strength, energetic. You're going to come into mountain pose. So most of you have probably done this before, but take a look at your feet. Bring them together or keep them apart, whatever's good for your body. Lift the toes up, spread them out as you bring them back to the mat. So we're really using the whole rounding of the foot. Take the shoulders a little bit away from the ears, arms by the side. And just take the gaze ahead of you. Breathe in. Breathe out. As you inhale, float the arms up, take the gaze up. Exhale, we're going to fold forward from the hips, sweep the arms down, bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, we lift up halfway. Exhale as you step back with the right, step back with the left, coming into plank pose. So just have a look at the screen if you need some guidance. So nice, strong core. If you're dipping in the hips, engage the abs, lift up. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, we're going to bend the elbows in towards the body as we're lowering to the mat. Don't let your elbows go beyond 90 degrees. We're going to inhale as we open the heart. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. On that bit, you can bring the knees down as well. We're going to exhale as we lift the bum up, coming into our downward facing dog. So don't worry, the heels don't meet the mat. Bend the knees if you need to. Try to keep some space between the shoulder blades, keeping the back ribs nice and strong as well. We're going to inhale as we lift the heels, exhale to lower. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. One more time. And I want us to take three lion's breaths here. So when you breathe out, just stick the tongue out, open the mouth, let it all go. Press the hands into the mat, take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, take the gaze between the hands and we're going to step or walk feet to hands. Inhale as we lift up halfway, exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, float the arms all the way up, gaze to the sky. Exhale, bring the arms down. Let's take a few shoulder rolls. We're going to take that again. We're going to do a few variations. So we're going to inhale to rise, drift to the thumbs. Exhale, fold forward from the hips. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step back into your plank pose. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, let's lower it down. So drop the knees if you have to. That's absolutely fine. Open the heart, up the dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Remember, at any point you can stop doing this, you can come into a child's pose, it's your practice. We're going to inhale that right leg in the air, so nice and big. 
Exhale, bend the knee, bring it to the nose, engage the core. Inhale to lift. Let's do it again, knee to nose. Inhale to lift. Let's bring the knee to the right elbow, nice and strong. Inhale to lift. Let's take it to the left elbow, nice little twists. And this time we're going to straighten that right leg, bring it onto the mat. Inhale as you lift the left arm for a twist to the right. Exhale, release that left arm, sweep the right leg up, three-legged dog. And exhale to release, coming back to downward facing dog. Take one more inhale. Exhale, take the gaze between the hands. Step or walk, feet to hands. We're going to inhale as we lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Float the arms up nice and tall. Exhale, bring them back to the side. Let's take a few shoulder rolls in both directions. So we're going to do that sequence again, but we're going to do it on the other side. So just take a couple of breaths, have a sip of water. Inhale to rise. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, let's step back into our plank pose. Press the hands into the mat. Keep the core strong. Draw the heels away, so just check your alignment here. Take a big inhale, exhale as we lower down. Bend the elbows in towards the body. Then inhales and open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale that left leg in the air, flex the foot nice and strong. Exhale, bend the knee, bring knee to nose. Inhale to open. And again, knee to nose. Inhale to open. Let's bring knee to left elbow. Inhale to open. Let's take it to the right. Nice little twist. So straighten the left leg. You lift the right arm. Nice and strong. Exhale. Release the hand. Sweep that left leg all the way back up. And release. Let's take two lines breaths here. Take one more inhale. Exhale, take the gaze between the hands. Step or walk, feet to hands. We're going to inhale as we lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Float the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms to the side. Take a few breaths here. So we're nearly there. So let's probably try and do one more quick little standing sequence. I'm just going to give you the heads up on what we're going to do. So we're going to come into tree pose. So I'm just going to run through it really quickly. We're going to have tree pose. Then we're going to bring the knee in to the chest, to the side. You can do it this way with the leg out straight and to the side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pivot forward from the hips, coming into our warrior three. We bring the arms in front, we bring the arms behind, and then we're going to come all the way back up, knee into the chest. And then we're going to take hold of the back foot, bring it behind us, so we're working that hip flexor, lift the arm on the other side up and come into a dancer pose. Just a bit fun, okay? Don't worry if you fall and wobble out a bit, I probably will. So let's get ourselves set up. I'm going to describe the right leg being lifted first, just for the purposes of this. So press that left foot into the mat. I'm going to lift the right leg up. Find a point of focus on the wall or something to look at. My left foot is the weakest side. And bring that foot into the left thigh, above the knee or below the knee. Keep the toes on the ground if you want. Hands to heart center. And let's open out that tree if it's available. And 
slowly bring the hands back to heart center. And just release that foot slowly. We're going to bring that knee into the chest. And take the hands to that knee. Bring the left hand to the waist. And take the knee out to the side. Back to the chest. I'm going to bring the hands to heart center. I'm going to start bringing that right leg behind you. Pivot forward from the hip. I'm really bad on this side. You can feel the wobble already. If you lift that right leg up, it will help the balance. Nice and strong. And let's come all the way back. Bring the knee into the chest. And then we're going to bring that right foot behind us. Take hold of the outside of the right foot. I'm going to lift and lengthen through the left. And come into a dancer pose, just pivoting forward from the hips, press that foot into the hand, lift, lift, lift. And come all the way back, bring the knee into the chest and release. Woo! And just shake it all out. You're going to be um, stronger on one side. I think my left foot is a bit weaker as it's, as it's grounded, but it's really good fun to practice that. So let's take a few little shakes. You shake the body, jump around, and we're going to move to the other side. So press that right foot into the mat. So set yourself up. We're going to lift the left foot. So you don't want it on the knee. You just bring it above or below. You can even keep the toes touching the floor. That's fine. Bring the hands to heart center. You can do this against the wall. That's absolutely fine. And then just open up that tree. Slowly bring the hands back to the heart. We're going to gently release that knee into the chest and take it out to the side. Bring it back to the middle again. And this time we're going to start pivoting forward from the hips. So bring the left leg behind you. You can bring the arms behind you. You can do Superman arms. Press, press, press. I'm going to fall actually. That's it, nice lift. And let's come all the way back. Bring that knee to the chest and take hold of the left foot with the left hand behind you. So we're bending that knee behind, lift and lengthen through the right and coming into our final dance to pose. So press the left foot into the hand to help that lift. And when you're ready, you're going to slowly come back through centre. Bring the knee into the chest. And release. Woo! And just shake it all out. I felt that more today. So you have days that are different than other days, and that's completely fine. So we're there, basically. We're almost done. Bring the feet mat width apart. So nice and spread out. Have the toes facing away from the midline. Bring the hands to the heart. I'm going to start coming down into a squat. Let yourself fall if you want to. That's absolutely fine. You can hold it here for a few moments. We've got about, we can, we're going to go over a little bit. So we've got about three or four minutes left. And when you're ready, just let the bum drop to the mat. And just shake the legs out. I'm going to do a quick forward fold. So bring the feet together, open them out like a book. So the knees are out. Keep a nice gap between the groin and the heels. And we're going to inhale as we lift the upper body. Exhale as we hinge forward. So keep a neutral spine for the moment. I'll just show you from the side. Take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, just let it go. So let the back flop. And when you're ready, just slowly lift yourself up. Use the hands to help you. We're going to bring the knees in and slowly bring yourself all the way down 
squeeze everything, nice big stretch, and exhale to release. Just bring the arms out. This is our final Shavasana pose. So just close the eyes, stop in the face, and I will shut up for a moment. I'm going to start deepening the breath now. And I want you to start slowly wriggling the fingers and the toes. And let's rotate the ankles and the wrists in both directions. Just waking ourselves up a little bit. And I want you to take a nice big stretch, point the toes. Stretch all the way up to the fingers. And when you're ready, just bring the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice hug. It's a nice little massage for the lower back. And slowly, I want you to roll out to the side and safely bring yourself up to a nice cross-legged position. Keep the eyes closed and the face soft. You can bring the hands to the heart center. And we're going to end with our three clearing breaths. So we're going to breathe in through the nose and just exhale out the mouth. You can bring the thumbs up to the space between the eyebrows, the third eye. And I want to thank you all for joining me for this practice today. I want to thank you all for trying out these silly little sequences that I'm just making up. And I want to thank you for trying more than anything. The inner light in me will always, always honor the inner light in each and every one of you amazing people. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I wish you a fantastic day. And I hope to see you very soon. Thank you. I'll make check if everyone's still there. Yay! Hey, hi, Jeff. Brilliant. Hey, hey Charlie. You. Brilliant. Sure you can join me again. I'll let you all know. And any questions, please drop me an email or a text or whatever, yeah? Thank you, Chef. Cheers, bye. Hey. Bye.